Welcome back, West continues on Worldwide. Along with Mike today, I'm Lee Marshall, and we've got singles competition coming up here, Mike. He's a young man we've been very impressed with, very Houston. When I get done here, WCW Worldwide level, he has had several impressive outings. He's going to have to take it up a notch here on Worldwide this week because his opponent brings one of the most well-rounded offensive game plans to the ring. We're talking about the magic man, Norman Smiley. And that does present a problem for Barry Houston, and I'm not discounting all the time he's put into the power plan and all the magic he's had thus far. But as you said, Mike, you talk about magic, Norman Smiley. This is a guy who is comfortable and familiar with so many different modalities in professional wrestling. Catches catch can, lucha libre. He has toured successfully in Japan. He can come at you at five or six different directions with three or four different styles. And that's what is going to make it very difficult for Barry Houston to prepare any kind of a game plan, especially in terms of defensive strategy against Norman Smiley. In the back of his mind, he has to know that Smiley can beat him in so many different ways, so many different styles. Also, you talked about the Lucha Libre, the fact that Norman Smiley was born in Europe in England, now lives in Mexico, so he's very familiar with the Mexican wrestling, but don't discount his submission wrestling ability also. Very nice go behind by Barry Houston, and now a chicken wing butterfly, see what he can do with the European. Tried for the double underhook, tried to take him over, Smiley blocked that, but Houston now has a very intriguing submission move. He's just neutralizing Norman Smiley, really nowhere for Norman to go. Norman Smiley also very deceiving. I mean, if you look at him, he, he doesn't have an ounce of fat on him, but he is so incredibly strong, and with that, he was very, very fast. Look at that move, up quickly into the top wrist lock. Barry Houston trying to fight it off. The little tricks of the trade that the veterans know, that little back heel trip yep. by Norman Smiley to take Barry Houston down to the mat. And you know, every time you see Norman Smiley, you see the magic man in the ring, you think of Das Wunderkind shooting off his mouth about being the greatest European wrestler. Now it's really put up or shut up, and Alex Wright and, and uh, Magic have been in the ring a time or two, but I don't think Norman is ready to concede the title of best European wrestler to anybody at this point in his career. Just shows you how the competitive juices oh, flow wow. in World Championship Wrestling. Backbreaker out of the double underhook, the, the last cover. press. It's just a two count that time. You're right, Alex Wright, I guess, is the one that got the ball rolling. Yep. Claiming that he is the top athlete, the top pro wrestler ever to come out of Europe. Not only does Norman Smiley disagree, but don't forget to factor in one fit Finley. Finley, of course, the Belfast brawler, that bruiser from Ireland. He's taken Alex Wright to the limit on several occasions as well. And in talking to Alex Wright, I said, you know, that's very pretentious of you to make a statement like that especially when there are men like the British Bulldog, who the day he retires is the day he goes into the Hall of Fame. For Alex Wright to make that kind of statement regarding his own prowess really shows a lot of confidence, but is that kind of confidence? What a close line by Barry Houston. Down goes Norman Smiley. Two count again, that was a strange situation where it was the veteran that made the critical error. Usually the inexperienced wrestler would run into a move like that. Houston caught him with a clothesline, takes him up, the blood rushes to the head as he connects with the vertical suplex. Now Houston did something he didn't do the last time he had him in an ear fall. Houston did not hook Norman Smiley's leg up. Smiley looks groggy. Yeah, he does. With a sunset flip. Great try at a bridge. Now that's an audible. What a veteran move. What a heads up move by Norman Smiley. Saw the sunset flip wasn't going to work and immediately took it into another takedown. Getting totally focused now his efforts on the knee and the ankle. Oh man. Going to use all of Houston's weight one would expect to drop down across oh. his leg. Mike, you made such a great point. Not only a takedown by Norman Smiley, but a painful one. Got him hooked here. Rolfing all the way to Houston. Has the knee, has the ankle extended. He, he's going to have to tap out. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. And I think that comes to the move you were talking about earlier, Mike, where Norman Smiley brought Barry Houston down. Not only the momentum of the move itself, but using Houston's 
pounds of weight against him, weakening his knee, and then from that point on, Dorman's finally able to get Barry Houston into a submissive combination. Big win for the Europeans, big win for Dorman. Beautiful strategy as we go to the replay. There you see the backbreaker coming off of the double underhook. The vertical suplex takeover by Barry Houston was effective just for the short term because it was the excellent strategy, the game plan of Norman Smiley totally focusing on the knee that led to the ankle lock that led to the knee submission hold. This is our 1-800-SELECT replay. You know, 1-800-SELECT, the way we call Select today. Back to the studio. Tony and the legend.